Hey, what's up, guys? This is Katerina Vanderham, and you're watching EDN.com. Hey, thanks so much, Katerina. Katerina Vanderham, live on tape from Hollywood at a red carpet event. Who's Katerina? She's a St. Pauli girl, 2009. I thought you guys would appreciate it since I had Christopher Atkins on last week for the girls. Katerina is in the cover of Muscle and Fitness and Flex Magazine. She's Maxim Top 100. She's a big supermodel. And she sent a video in. How cool is that? Thanks, Katerina. Who am I? I'm Dan Doherty, the CEO of TipTopWebsite.com. I consider it the greatest website builder ever. And I've been doing this 15 years, folks. Create your own website online today. Use the promo code Dan at sign up, and I'll give you a free domain. I'm also the host of this fantastic show here at edan.com. edan.com, of course, was built with TipTopWebsite.com. Your daily source of technology, what's cool on the internet, business, videos, everything. Tune in every day. Make sure you tell your friends. It's all free, folks. All right, let's jump into the show. 100-inch, laser-driven, 3D, HD TV, ten to $15,000. How cool is that? Ten to $15,000. Let's get your money out, folks, right? The economy's fantastic. Everyone's got an extra $15,000 to uh, spend on a TV. No, of course not. But 3D, very cool. Right now, when you go to a 3D movie in the theaters, it says right on the screen, take your glasses on, take your glasses off, put your glasses on, take them off. Imagine having that 3D experience in your house, no glasses needed, anytime you want. How cool is that, right? Unbelievable. So I, I'm certainly not going to buy this TV, but a guy like Steve Wozniak, you know, we showed a video of him on the show recently, the founder of Apple, he, uh, he's a billionaire. He'll get one, right, for sure he'll get one. he maybe get over 100 inches. But this is gonna, this is incredible. This is definitely breakthrough stuff, cut through, you know, cutting edge technologies by Mitsubishi, phenomenal uh, company. I've always preferred Hitachi for big screens. I think they're the best. I have a couple Hitachis I bought years ago. Still work fantastically perfect. But a hundred inch uh, TV, that's that's huge. 3D, gigantic. So you football fans, baseball fans, movie fans, can you imagine watching this in 3D? Now they have to make the content in 3D. Okay, James Cameron, he's pushing for this. He's pushing for all his future movies. Hey, is that Avatar movie? Is that going to be in 3D? I don't know. Brandon says, I don't know. So Brandon is uh, uh, not hip with the Avatar, but uh, it's about a bunch of blue people. So I, he does not get points off for that. <laughs> so that's cool. Check that out. Me personally, I'll get this in a few years from now. But I, I got to put the kids through college, folks. Ten to $15,000 for a TV, not so good. You know, I talked about it. One of my very first shows, How to Build Your Own TV. It's still on the show. Uh, if you look in the under my show, I don't know. It's uh, one of the first 20 shows probably I did last year. A 150-inch TV you can build for less than $2,000. I walk you through it, how to do it, and uh, it's a projection TV. So not 3D, but still HD. So check that out in the earlier one of my earlier shows. SSD. Another expensive high-ticket item. What's SSD? SSD, solid-state drives. Very cool. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone in the tech saying you have to have them, you have to have them. What's SSD? It's the same card that you shove into your camera, right? Unless you have a compact flash card. Basically the same thing, just a uh, solid-state drive. I'm pointing at my camera, my, my uh, HD video camera I'm filming on, using an SSD card. Fantastic. You can throw them on the ground. You can step on them. They're not going to break, but they're not foolproof. This article right here I'm going to put in the show notes saying... Despite the cost, SSD are a great value. Right now on your computer, you have a 4,200, 5,600, or 7,200 spin rate drive. So when I give those numbers, that's a, a revolution, RPM, revolutions per minute. How many times it spins around in a minute? So I've got a 7,200 in mine. Most laptops have 5,600. My servers at tiptopwebsite.com, your host, and if you have sites with me, 10,000 RPMs, high-end servers, very expensive servers, so it grabs the data as fast as possible. That's the fastest you can get on drives. Solid-state drives, nothing to spin, goes out, grabs the information. So on boot time, when you boot up a Photoshop, or Word, it's going to boot in about half the time. So this article is suggesting that if you have 50, 60, 100 employees, if everyone had solid-state drives, you'd save so much money over the year because everyone would you know, be able to boot up their system and grab information quicker. I, I don't think the, uh, let, me, let me explain some of these costs to you. 128 gigabyte solid state drive. So this computer here, I think has got 500 gigabytes. That's pretty normal for a laptop now. Here's 120, 500 gigabyte. You could probably get this uh, 
I don't know, 100 bucks, right? You can get a backup terabyte for 70, 80 bucks. But in, in, in a laptop, 100, $120. Here's an SSD drive on Amazon, 128 gigabyte SSD, 374. See the difference? So here's another one, um, 80 gigabyte SSD, 249. Very, very expensive. I don't think it's worth it yet, okay? If you're a company and your tech guy comes and you say, we need to get rid of all these drives in your computer and put SSD drives, listen, don't listen to the guy, all right? <laughs> it's a great idea, but I think it's a waste of money. It's gonna take a long time to recoup that money and they're still making these SSD drives faster. By the time the price comes down, this time next year I say, you'll be able to grab these things at a very low cost and they'll be perfect, okay? Like I said, I've had um, SSD cards fail me before, Brandon and I were doing a video shoot last year with some professional ball players. The card failed on us. We were taking in and out too much without shutting the camera off properly. What did we waste? About a half hour, 40 minutes of film? Almost all of it. Yeah, what, half hour, 40 minutes, almost an hour. We had to reshoot the whole thing the following day. It was, uh, yeah, it was, not, <laughs> it was not a good scene, and these are supposed to be indestructible. So, they, you know, firsthand knowledge, folks. Uh, again, uh, back of everything. But when you're shooting video or you're shooting cameras, you, 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 there's nothing to back up. You, you can't take the card and back it up. You take the card and it doesn't work. There you go. I have dedicated servers for, for my company, back up every night. So, uh, you know, that's this is my business, folks. I'm crazy about it. Listen to me. Even my own personal computer, I always back up. SSD drive, so they fail, that's it. Uh, you know, uh, you got to, it's very expensive to grab data off. Brian, you tried to grab that data off when those things failed, Those uh, that memory card, right? Hours and hours and hours. And we had a bunch of professional ball players we were filming last year for a show that were very kind enough to come back and do it again. They may be coming to my house for uh, New Year's Eve, so we'll have to get them some uh, extra uh, festive party hats, all right? <laughs> Let me show you a funny video. Leave you with a funny video. But make sure you tell your friends to watch the show. Always have fantastic news for you. Edan.com. We'll see you tomorrow. Here's, a great, uh, here's some great clips of some fishing bloopers I found online that I thought were... Uh, Perfect for the show. Very funny. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Pull up, pull up! Pull up, pull up! Pull up, Timmy! With quality components. Guides, real seat, as well as a handle. A rod that's lightweight, that's extremely sensitive. Dead gummit. Well, it's sensitive, all right. It's sensitive enough, and I felt that fan. Dead gum it! The Colorado blade puts out more vibration than they, let's say, a willow blade or even the Oklahoma blade. <coughs> Golly! Come here! Come Come here! We got our rods, we've got our life preservers, we've got our tackle box, we've got our cooler, and we've got our battery.